<laughs> Congratulations. We got your paperwork. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What up, baby? I didn't What's know up? You, I didn't know if you were coming in today or what. I didn't know what was going on. No, I ain't worried about him. It's my time now. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's your time. So yes, we, sir. we lost a guy at that free safety spot. You're the guy. How many safeties did we take, Coach Conklin? One. One. Mm. You only need one when you got a great one, right? With defensive coordinator Josh Conklin, all right, Paris Ford, why yeah. is he so special? Uh, you watch a lot of safeties play, and, and he's one of the few guys, I think, that is the total package. He's got the, the capability of coming in and competing early yeah. for a starting job. All right, so let's take a look at the film and yeah. show me what you're seeing when you watch him on the field in high school. You always, you're always looking for those guys that, that are return guys, you know, um, and if, if a defensive back is a return guy, it says a lot about, number one, his ball skills, his, his ability to judge a deep ball, but then obviously his ability in space um, you know, to make guys miss and to do things with the ball in his hands. And again, the thing that you, know, you see here from him, strong, you, know, you take a look at this, and, and things that you, know, you look at as a, as a defensive guy, like, like right there, great balance, great strength, the ball still needs to be tucked away, but uh, you know, he's just a football player. Uh, feels where, where blocks are happening in front of him, understands the game, and again, can make big plays you know, when the ball in his hands. And I think as a defensive guy, anytime a, a defensive back is touching the ball as much as he is um, on, his, on his football team, you know he's got good ball skills and he's a guy that can really impact, potentially impact the game. This right here, you know, and again, this clip, you, you talk a little bit about, you know, how a guy can, you know, how instinctive they are, like I was talking about to you before as far as finishing on the ball carrier. Uh, I, you know, this looks like they've got a safety blitz here, safety pressure. Um, but again, you know, a guy that just kind of feels his way through, he's instinctive, you know, to the ball, able to finish. And then again, not just tackling the guy, he understands the ball's out, you know, scoop and score. And just shows again his instinctive ability to play football. And so what you want to see, you know, again, when you're evaluating as a defensive guy, he's going to get in this position a lot uh, at the field safety position. He's going to get in this position where he's in man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, there's a deep ball thrown on a number two or a seven cut thrown on a number two. Not only does he have the ability, the talent to get in position, but he also has the ability to go up and get the ball. And that's, to me, what separates those good DBs or average DBs to the great ones because they can create plays and obviously change the game for you, you know, as a, as a defense. And when you watch him play, you say to yourself, this guy can be a great one. There's no question. He's got all the talent in terms of athletic ability, size, speed, to go be as good as he wants, wants to be, you know. You don't sell, we don't personally sell these guys a lot on the NFL dream because the percentage of making that is really small. But with him, you can actually sit down and have a, a business conversation about, hey, Paris, if you come in here and you take care of business and you're a high character guy, uh, you get coached up and you take it seriously for four years, you may have the potential to make a lot of money doing something that you love to do. And again, that's because he's the caliber of athlete that he is. Coach, really appreciate it, thanks. Yes, sir.